you know you guys can do this well. Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another statue review on the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild video game Link. I gotta give a big thanks to First Four Figures sending this out to me. I did not ask for it, it just showed up in the P.O. Box and I was like, oh wow, because I am excited for this new video game. My brother was showing me the trailer and I am a Legend of Zelda fan from way back in the day, but due to me getting nauseous from playing video games, I don't really play so much games anymore. But this game, I really want to give it a shot and this statue looks cool already. I really like the packaging over here. Very nice artwork with Link. We get this holographic kind of imaging right over here with the foil with the first four figures right there. And then on the side it says Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And on the very back you see some product shots. There's a read up over here. If you want to read it, pause it now. Right here you can see all the people responsible for creating the statue. And then not much more on this side. We get the Eye of Sheikah at the top right over there and not much more at the bottom. All right, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here is Link out of the packaging looking awesome. This is a beautiful statue. I really like it a lot. I mean, even the base right over here, I think that looks awesome. I love how the blue comes out over the black right here. We get a lot of nice painted details, a lot of nice sculpted work on this thing too. We get some very nice cast iron right over here on the shield. I just think the paint came out looking really good and I just like the sculpted work and there's just a lot to appreciate about this guy. So let's take a closer look at Link. Starting off with the head sculpt, I think first four figures did really well on this. I think it looks really Really good man. I really like the paint on his eyes too and the eyebrows. The hair looks really good. I like how the hair is sculpted and it's moving off to his left. Got that piercing or the earring right over there. And then looking on top you can see they actually have a little, it looks like a little bit of extra paint or it's just the seam from attaching the hair right there. Which actually fits in line with the sculpt of the hair so that's pretty sweet. I'm really digging how the hair looks though. I think that's pretty awesome. And I like this attention to detail with the little line work right there on the paint. I'm just really digging this arrow too. That looks sweet. They even painted his fingernails right there. It's kind of like a pearlescent white color. But yeah, looking at this arrowhead, I think this is awesome. I love how they have the light blue fading to a slightly darker blue. Got these nicely sculpted details right over here looking really nice. I love this gunmetal gray right there. I think that's awesome. You guys know I love my gunmetal. Then looking at the bow itself, we have some nice wood grain sculpted in there looking really cool. I'm liking this a lot. And this is made with actual string, so it's kind of elastic as you could hear it, right? So I don't want to play with that too much, but it looks really good. Feels pretty good too. Just want to get the top of that right there looking really sweet. Again, the wood grain looks really nice along with these nicks. Man, that gunmetal. That really looks like cast iron to me. I'm really digging that a lot. Then here's his shirt. We have some nice wrinkles. The deco looks really clean. I'm liking that. Strap looks really good. Nice belt buckle right there. Not looking too bad. Then here's some arrows again. Really nice teal colors. Really like the oranges over here. This is really nice looking. And the shield, oh man. I really like these little nicks and everything throughout. That's really awesome. You get this kind of stretchy effect on the shield too. So that's pretty sweet. I'm really digging that a lot. Looks awesome. Yeah, man. And then there's his shaker tablet. Looking really nice. Nice paint detail on there. I like that brass color that we get right over here on some of these parts. Looking really cool. Not a whole ton going on with his pants. We have some nice seams. Looking pretty nice on the boots too. Pretty thorough. I like it. Even some nicks and everything at the bottom. And again, I really like how this looks right here with this bright blue coming through. That is just awesome. Really digging that a lot. It almost looks like it's lit up inside, but it's just a very bright baby blue above this black. It just looks really good. Very pleased with that. That is awesome. Yeah, and then, you know, you get some copyright stuff at the very bottom right over there. Now, I also wanted to point out how awesome the inside of the shield is right here. They have all these details. Again, with the wood grain looking very realistic on the inside right here. Absolutely love that. And the sheath looks really good, too. We have the hilt for his sword looking pretty awesome. Now measuring out this Link statue, you can see that he's standing just a little under 10 inches tall. Then looking at this Breath of the Wild Link statue compared to my only other Link figurine in my collection, we have the Figma Link. And then comparing this Link statue to your average 6 inch scale figure, here he is next to the Marvel Legends big time no letdown Spider-Man. So you might be thinking to yourself, hey Shardimus, what the hell man, I thought you hated video games and I do not hate video games. Actually, The Legend of Zelda was my first favorite video game way back in the day. It's just that I'm sensitive to motion sickness, so 
I'm gonna test the waters with this game. My wife is picking it up. She's a big Legend of Zelda fan too, so we're both gonna play this Breath of the Wild game. Hopefully I don't get nauseous playing it or anything. This statue though, I think looks awesome. I highly recommend it. I'm very stoked on the Legend of Zelda right now. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, please hit the like button. Go ahead and leave a comment down below if you feel so inclined to do so. And please subscribe if you're not subscribed already. If you're already subscribed, hit that notification bell. If you wanna follow me on the Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, Instagram. Links are in the description below, and you can see a photo gallery of images over at toynewseye.com. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. That's crispy. Shot, we shot, we shot in your face, I said my shot, we shot, we shot, we shot in your face, I said my shot.